So I found two of these uh, pieces of wire. One of them is a little bit more banged up because it was already on the road and cars were going over it. So my goal is going to be to actually prototype the antenna, to take the one that is maybe more banged up and try to straighten it. It's going to be very difficult because the, the angles are quite sharp, but we're going to see. And essentially straighten it and then turn it into a 2 meter j antenna. So stay with me and we will see what we can do. To make it straight, uh, with bare hands it's very difficult. This is uh, probably 3 millimeters of uh, steel wire. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna make it you know, as straight as possible and then maybe put it on a piece of wood and hammer it uh, to the shape. So essentially this is the best I managed to do. I use a piece of cloth to grab the wire, so I, you know, because it was cutting into my fingers. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna put it on a piece of wood and I will try to hammer it and make it straight. So as you can see, the wire seems to be straight enough to make an antenna of it. It looks uh, it looks pretty good to me. Uh, there were some other bands in it since I said since like I said, uh, cars were running over it in the street. So let's uh, see how we can bend it. So keep in mind, you are not going to bend this wire with your bare hands. I'm doing this exercise, like I said, with very simple tools. So what I did is uh, I measured, like I said, 50 centimeters plus, if, like let's say five millimeters for the, for the bend. I scored it slightly with the hacksaw. Then I locked the longer, longer arm in the vice grip and I use another another tool to grab the shorter shorter piece and to bend it so this way the cable wouldn't sort of uh, wiggle in my in my hands so now we're gonna make another bend somewhere somewhere here and essentially the distance uh, will be essentially size of the vice grip plus plus a few millimeters. So let me prepare it and uh, and I'm gonna bend it and we're gonna see how this thing gonna turn out. So as you can see, I made the mark with the hacksaw just to make sure that the wire bends in this uh, specific place. It's not deep, it's probably less than a millimeter. It's just uh, uh, probably, I don't know, quarter of the millimeter just to, just to mark the place. So do not cut too deep because it's going to break off in this place or it's going to corrode. Uh, the next step, so you can see the, the part that I bent, it, it, looks, it looks pretty good. I'm going to solder a connector, I don't know if it, I'm going to solder here or at the bottom, I'm going to make this decision. Also, I want to make a plastic spacer that would go here to prevent this thing from from moving, uh, this thing needs to keep its shape to make sure that uh, antenna is resonant. And of course, uh, I need to cut off uh, the end of the antenna because there is actually too much uh, wire. Uh, we need uh, we need one meter. This is that's going to be two meter band antenna. So this is pretty much the longer, the shorter piece is a is a quarter wave, and the longer piece should be half wave, like half wave and fat. So I will have to do some some trimming. So give me some time. I'm gonna do the soldering and manufacture the the little spacer, and we see uh, what we can do next. Here you can see all the tools used to manufacture antenna. Yes, I have a better hammer. And uh, I didn't use gloves because they're not, 
they're not uh, thick enough so have a piece of cloth when you grab the antenna the wire to straighten it hold it through that piece of, of soft cloth and it's gonna work much better than than gloves and of course I love my vice grips like uh, they work really well and they you can pretty much use them to replace the device so here here is the finished product I made several mistakes but I'm not really concerned about them as this is the prototype and I think I if this works well I'm gonna make another version of the antenna uh, I think the biggest mistake was uh, soldering this uh, connector to the antenna it took a lot of effort and it's not uh, soldered the right but again it's a it's a prototype i don't care i also set my mind of on making this little spacer and it took me like half an hour to make it it was ridiculous uh, where i could use a piece of plastic pipe as a, as a spacer the spacer is here to just make sure that the the end of the uh, driving element will not shorten to the to the rest of antenna so at this point um, I want to attach it to a piece of wood and uh, run my nano VNA and uh, test it. Also, before you start working on the antenna, make a little uh, table for different frequencies um, so you can see the length. Uh, I was under the impression that, you know, two meters is two meters, but it's not. It's actually two meters and eight centimeters for the lowest frequency and slightly less, uh, about four centimeters less for the highest frequency. So uh, make sure that you understand the, the dimensions you're working with. Um, let's take a look at what we have. So here is the antenna going uh, about, you know, a meter, two meters above the, the ground. And I have a tripod and I use tape to attach the antenna to a wooden dowel and then we have a cable and it goes to the to the analyzer and uh, I'm gonna probably uh, take a different uh, video sh to show you the, the results so uh, you can see two dips and the first dip is around uh, 144 megahertz and there is another one around 432 and the SWR there is 1.5 so it looks like this antenna can actually operate on 70 centimeters however the match for 144 is not very good it's uh, close to 2 so I have to do some tuning and see if I can optimize it. Like, I mean, this is my first sort of stab at this. I just soldered everything and I I figured out, you know what, like, let's see what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna make some uh, improvements to sort of move this frequency a little bit higher, if possible, and uh, to get a better match, like, you know, probably 1.2 or so. So I don't have a good match when it comes to impedance. I'm gonna move the feed point a little bit up because it's showing right now anything from like 16 ohms at the lower end to like 30 ohms at the high end. And I may use also aluminum foil to extend the antenna altogether. So we'll see, give me some time and I will show you the results. So as as you can see here, uh, I moved the feed point and I think I moved it a little bit too high. I tried to sort of calculate it, but I don't think that uh, the relationship between the length and the impedance is linear. So it didn't turn out uh, perfectly. I mean, I got over uh, 40, like 44 ohms instead of 50. Also, to get it working, I had to extend the antennas. So I used a little bit of aluminum foil. At both tips of the, the antenna and I think it's because I've done a lot of soldering which effectively uh, made this antenna shorter so I'm gonna go to the basement and pretty much uh, add a little bit of a uh, little bit of tin at the at the very end of each tip in hopes that that's gonna uh, preserve resonant uh, frequency of the antenna 
Uh, so at 144, I'm here and we have much 1 to 4, 38 ohms. So I could still probably play with the feed point, but uh, I don't think it makes sense. And then let me let me show you where the the middle of the band is. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. Um, where is it? So let's go up to let's say 140, uh, 146. So we pass the frequency resonant frequency but still match is pretty good it's 1.24 and let's go 140 so this is essentially the call frequency so my match is 1.34 so this is very good and if we go to 148 so that's gonna be this is pretty one one uh, 148 so this is the end of the band so still my match is 1.7 so it's it's not bad uh, let's see the APRS frequency what it could be because I think I'm gonna use it on APRS ah, close enough so for APRS the match is 1.31 so I think it's not bad I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna cut anything or I'm gonna make major changes I think it is better than I expected um, I'm gonna also run the graph and see uh, how it behaves on 70 centimeters so wait a second and let me set it up uh, so looking at the frequency at 439 there's like 440 uh, the match is 122 and the chart looks uh, pretty well let me see if i can move it a little bit the frequency so 146 uh, 146 it's pretty much a uh, called frequency so the match is 1.3 so this is without doing any traps or any anything uh for this antenna i think it's uh it works on two bands um, so why not I'm gonna I'm gonna try it on 70 centimeters and we'll see what's gonna happen I'm gonna probably take it um, to the park and see if I can make some contacts with it thank you very much for your patience please don't forget to like and subscribe to motivate me to uh, make another YouTube video Talk to you later. VA3WBA.